going on guys my name is Shane and as of lately I've been really wanting to get back into subscription boxes every month they're like a present at my doorstep every month I always get excited when they finally arrive so I did a little bit of online research and I was trying to find some mystery box not I keep saying mystery boxes some subscription boxes that would interest me and might interest you guys as well so I was thinking beauty you know I've done birch box I've seen ipsy I'm not really interested like I, obviously I love makeup and I love beauty but I'm not really interested in getting the subscription boxes because I feel like nine times out of ten I don't end up using all the products so recently I did a Korean and a beauty subscription box and that's what inspired me to try out this box which is Japan crate now they have three different sizes I believe I do have the mini subscription box but I, it was kind of like I wanted to try it I didn't want to start paying for the largest box and not be satisfied with the subscription so I figured we could do the mini box for maybe a couple of months and if I really like it maybe we can upgrade in the future but to be honest I'm also trying to cut way back on my sugar and snack intake as well so having a mini box might just be beneficial to everybody <laughs> but I just want to get started I am going to leave the website link listed down below I don't have an affiliate link like this this I paid for with my own money this was not sent for a review I should have gotten scissors. All I have is some pliers, which can I make it work? Kinda. Oh, I might actually be able to pull something off here. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. It's been a little bit since I've sat down and filmed, to be honest with you guys. I, oh, I have a screwdriver. That's even better. <laughs> Um, I have some like pre-recorded videos and stuff because I've just been slowing down filming. Um, A, like the lack of, not like really inspiration, but like I'm trying to figure out like what I want to film. Um, I'm actually starting a new series hopefully soon and I don't like saying... I don't like telling you guys projects before they happen because then if I can't make it happen, I feel like I let you guys down, you know what I mean? Like even with the Carly Bybel um, collaboration, I wanted it so flippin' badly, but at the time where her collection was released, Ella's party was also coming, so I, like I couldn't really justify spending over $100 on lipsticks, <laughs> you, know? you know? So it was like, oh, like I even went and got like a backdrop for it, like I was disappointed in myself. Um, that doesn't mean that I won't get it in the future, just that timing was really bad. So I, I really don't like to announce anything on my channel unless like it's happening for sure anymore. But I am trying to work on a new um, series just to get myself like kind of excited again. Like I do love doing my pregnancy diaries and my vlogs come naturally. But I kind of want to find like something that I really, really, really love doing and hopefully this new series is going to combine two things that I really love doing into one sort of series. That doesn't make any sense. Hopefully it will in the future. We'll see. Anyways, <laughs> the point of today's video, again, Japan Crate. So let's just get it open. Oh, it's so cute. I always love the packaging. Oh my gosh. Okay, so on, right on top, I have this little like pamphlet looking thing. So this is the August crate. I'm going to try to get it up this last week of August. I got it probably only two days ago. So I already got it like I think August 22nd, August 23rd. Um, but I am also trying to push out vlogs this week as well. But I think I'm going to squeeze it in at some point this week um, just so it's still published in August. It's um, I guess just showing different kinds of crates. And then inside, oh, it shows what came in each of the three boxes. So they have a mini original and then a premium box. So um, as we go through the candies, I'll be able to tell you what they actually are because this is in English, luckily. <laughs> so, oh, oh no. One of these things, wait a minute, I don't understand. Did I get the original box? Because wait a minute because one of these items that I'm seeing right on top that I'm telling you right now I will not eat but I will try to convince my husband to eat <laughs> um are oh I can't even like guys oh I can't even touch the packaging I don't like seafood I don't like the look of shrimp I don't like the look of lobster they look like bugs to me so I'm just gonna like oh, oh my god and this is the biggest 
this oh my god all I can assume is that they're shrimp chips <laughs> I can't even look get away from me I can't even I cannot look at it but I will have my husband try it because I know he will anyways um I was trying to look for that on the mini part right here and it literally is not on here so I can't tell you oh no it is Apparently, I can't read either. This is the Kataj. I know half of the stuff is going to be mispronounced too. But this is the Kataj potato shrimp and salt. <coughs> Akina Island in Heim Prefecture <laughs> is known for its tasty shrimp. Feel like you're on there while snacking on these extra crispy <coughs> chips that pack a classic shrimp and umami flavor. Oh, why? Why would they do that? So gross. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna save that one to the end, so don't worry. I think you'll still get a review, hopefully. All right, one thing I am interested in is this little, what looks like kind of like an ice cream cone um, on the back. I mean, I'll open the package so you can see it a little bit better. The packaging is super cute. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like, just looking at it, it looks like the texture of like maybe marshmallow or something. It has little sprinkles on top too. This is the Chocato, Chocato, Chocato Soft. I'm going to put all the names down here too so you can see like my struggle here. Ice cream, marshmallow, or chocolate. No need to choose just one. This cute ice cream cone is filled with fluffy sweet marshmallow and chocolate cream. Okay, so it, the texture did remind me of a peep because it looks like it has like that sugar around it as well. I'm not quite sure how to... I probably shouldn't have worn lipstick for this video, but... Oh, I got lipstick. Oh! <laughs> This isn't bad, like I def- Oh, I guess knees. <coughs> Allergies have been killing me this past couple of weeks as well. Anyways, this is not what I would say is bad. It tastes just like a peep, like the marshmallow part. I can see as I bite into it, there's like a marshmallow and then a chocolate layer and then another marshmallow layer. I'm curious if the whole cone is filled with marshmallow, so I'm gonna break off the bottom okay it's not all the way filled it's probably about halfway filled yeah yeah the cone itself tastes like a really really stale cone though but that's all it is i'm trying to break it open so you guys can see but it's literally just marshmallow chocolate and marshmallow so it's not bad but i'm also not like a huge fan of marshmallow like i definitely will eat it um but it has to be like on something that I like really 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 enjoy so so far that first one wasn't bad but it probably wasn't necessarily my cup of tea so we're moving on oh by the way we have what one two three four wait one two three four five um items in the mini box which honestly I think is a perfect amount this one is intriguing I'll let you guys take a look at the packaging real quick. It's like this little blue thing. This is called the Coro Can Soda Soft Candy. Sweet and sour wrapped up in a round soft candy. Chew on one of these when you want a refreshing burst of soda. Interesting. Okay, so they're not like individually wrapped. They feel kind of soft, like almost kind of like a yogurt-y coating. Mmm. Um, I can see where they get the soda from. My taste buds don't know how to react. <laughs> it is, it's like sweet, but it's sour. Like it has a little bit of tang to it, but it's super manageable because it is sweet. And then like you have this underlying, not like, it's like a Pepsi taste almost. I don't know, like. I feel like I could finish these. There was um, only six of them in here. These are pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. They weren't my favorite thing that I've ever tried, but it, it definitely wasn't the worst either. That was pretty interesting. The texture threw me off a little bit, um, but it just, it did feel like it was kind of a yogurty coating. It was very, very soft and very easy to chew. Um, 
it's sticking my teeth slightly nothing crazy but the aftertaste is really well too so I really like these to be honest with you okay we have two well technically we have three more but two more for me to try um, and we're gonna try these and these are sour and it looks like uh, this is a well on the the pamphlet here it shows milk sour and it looks like a little milk cart and it it's really cute the packaging again this is the DX sour pack it's a clappany <laughs> Clappanese. Classic Japanese drink cartons shrunk into mini form. Don't try to drink it. Um, it though they're full of yummy mints. Oh, interesting. But they're sour mints. Um, so not minty mints. I'm curious because it has like a little teeny tiny hole, and I don't know if you. I'm gonna attempt to poke a hole. Oh, okay, it's opening. <laughs> but I want to see if like. Can you take out the mints through that? I don't even know what they look like. Let me see how big they are. Oh, <laughs> no, no way, because they're individually wrapped too. They're um, actually quite large. Oh, no, they're not. They're in one, like, big wrapper. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me open these up. And then I think, I think they are meant to go into that hole. I'm gonna... Um, dump the packaging, dump the candies back into the carton now that they're, oh gosh, I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna dump, oh god, <laughs> them all over the floor. All right, I should have done this like over the box. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna close it back up once I figure out how. And now I think, oh, this nail is broken. Now I think I'm able to dispense. <laughs> yep, here comes one. All right, we're gonna try it. Oh, it's stuck to my hand. Uh, here we go. I don't taste anything sour yet. Let me bite. Oh, before I even bit, it like collapsed. <laughs> that is not sour. Let me try three. A, I don't see how this is a mint. <laughs> And secondly, I don't think it's sour at all. It has very little taste. Like, it shows a lemon on it. Very, li like, mild taste. Um, but it's good. But I would eat these in, like, a heartbeat. They're, like, almost as small as nerds. You know what I mean? Like, if you had a little handful of nerds, that's what's in here. But really good. Again, not a ton of taste, but I do like them. Last thing for me is this little, which is so fitting, <laughs> this little... Um, lip shape maybe gummy of some sort so this is the choo 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 in Japanese means kiss oh put this gummy on your lips for a perfect red pouty lips it also dump it also dummy it also dummies <laughs> what it also doubles as a juicy grape flavor gummy holy smokes <laughs> it's been a while since I've recorded can't you tell I stink? Okay, let's um, that was like super. Ooh, it does not want to come out of its packaging at all. Okay, here we go. Really sticky. Oh my goodness. Really, really, really sticky. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try it. I can't really taste anything. A little bit. Oh, okay. It tastes cherry to me. What did this say? A grape flavored gummy. Maybe there's like different kinds because some of the packaging on here is like a different color than the packaging I have. So maybe I got a cherry flavor. But I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little bit softer, uh, softer gummy than I would expect to eat. Like a, I don't know, like a gusher. Like it's softer than a gusher, you know? So it's a little, it's a little ick on the texture but good on the flavor it's very sticky though so that was it for me i can tell you i think my favorite was the little soda candies and the sour mints um we're gonna go downstairs and try to convince my husband to try these um wretched chips over here in the corner so let's go <laughs> and i opened up another present i see but daddy. Look, i got princess celestia very cool daddy <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> Mommy? Some days. I have something for you to try. 
So I got a Japanese snack crate subscription thing. And it comes with five snacks. Okay. And I've tried four out of the five of the snacks. And the minute you see the snack, you'll know why I can't try it. Can you try those for me? <laughs> They're shrimp potato chips. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I want an honest review. Uh, I'm just going to read the ingredients real quick so I know what I'm eating. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll help you in one second, Cindy, honey. Makes you feeling better. It does look like a potato. Yeah, I know that, but... And you know what shrimp tastes like too. I don't. This is mine. Oh, sorry. Do you know if this is shrimp flavored? No. It does it just taste like a potato chip? It just tastes like a potato chip. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> and that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I have the best husband. <laughs> He willingly ate them. You heard it yourself. He just said that they tasted like regular potato chips. So I really, really appreciate um, what he did for me that he tried for you guys. So anyways, I thought this was a lot of fun. There was nothing besides the shrimp potato chips that like I didn't like, you know, and I'm a very, very picky eater. Everything, you know, I would say my least favorite out of the four, honestly, it was probably the gummy because if I really wanted to, I could eat the whole rest of that ice cream cone, but the gummy was kind of hard to like, again, it just comes down to texture. It was just a little too, like, it was just a little too soft for my liking, but everything was good though. Again, there wasn't anything that like I really, really, really didn't like. Even the potato chips, like if I didn't know that they were shrimp, maybe I would have tried them and liked them because he said that they taste like potato chips and I enjoy potato chips. So I'm really happy with this. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna continue getting the boxes and doing unboxing. So I really hope you enjoy this kind of video. Maybe again, eventually we'll upgrade to the original size. It looks like every box, you still get five items. You just get possibly like a larger size of that item so i don't know i think the mini size is honestly worth it in my case but again if you want to try it for yourself i'll leave the link to the website down below you can check it out you can decide what box to get for yourself if you guys enjoyed today's video please show me by leaving a thumbs up and for some reason youtube is disabling most of my videos but then there'll be just like a random video that allows my comments so if you check down below you might be able to comment what you thought or if you have any suggestions. If not, as usual, I have a picture or a GIF up on my community tab you can comment on or you can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!